Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the Science World of Risk Islamic School. Alright, today we're going to cover Unit 1, P6, Scientific Skills. In this Unit 1, okay, you need to know about two things. The first one is Scientific Skills and Manipulative Skills. All right. In these scientific skills, you make sure you understand well about the 12 skills as been stated. The first one, all right, you need to know about observing. What is observing? Observing is the things that you did with your five senses. In this observing, how you going to explain in your exam? All right. There are two ways. One we call as quantitative. Another one is qualitative. Quantitative described by numbers. For example, 10 cats, 12 cats. Qualitative by the quality of that things. For example, nice smell of a chicken. The second one is classifying. You classify. Now, like your, how your teachers classify you into class, like P6, P5, all of you share the same, the similar characteristic, all right? All right, let us move to the third things. The third science process skill is measuring. You measure, and while you measure, you need to use numbers. Now, measure. We are now in the modern era, so make sure you measure using standard tools. Now, what it means by standard tools? Standard tool is like an ear and a ruler to have unit. So, what is the unique? Kilometer, meter, centimeter, millimeter. Right. Now, I give you the way for you to memorize. Okay. Kalau masa. Maggi, campur, minyak, masak, murni. Kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. We move the next one, making inference. Inference is the reason something's happened. The reason why it happened. So, if I want to say, why you didn't come to school? Um, um, because. Now, what is the word you use? You use the word because. Because you want to explain about something. Now, inference is the reason why the things happen. So, inference, normally you can see it in your paper two questions. Okay. Now, in doing inference, I'm actually going to give you tips after this. But you need to measure, you need to make sure that you know how to detect your manipulated variables, responding variables, and constant variables. Where we're we going to move next. Okay. Now, as we say that inference is the reason something happened, it is, we can conclude it as a, an early conclusion. Now, the next one, okay, number five is predicting. Now, what is predicting? Predicting is that you now looking to the future. Now, for example, I have two parts of plants. Oh, I water it every day. I call it pot A and the next one is pot B. I have the same flowers. Alright. Now, this flower, I water it 10 times a day. This one, I never ever water it. So, after one week, what do you think is going to happen? Um, pot B going to a uh, real teacher. Pot B going to grow, teacher. Now, you are predicting what going to happen to Pot B. Now, you're going to number six, which is communication. What? In science, we got communication. Do I need to give presentation? All right. Now, these are the things that you need to know better. Now, in science, communicate is that any data of your investigation, make sure that the students, for example, you are in Malaysia. The student from Japan can understand your presentation even though he or she is not in front of you. But how are you going to present to them? Now, in many ways, you can present to them. 
Now, for example, oh, sorry about that. Now, for example, I can have in terms of graph. How? I can make a bar graph. Bar graph is like this. You have a bar. That's why its name is bar graph. I can have a line graph. Line. You make a line. This is a graph. This is one of the ways you can communicate with others. Now, you need to think you are a scientist now. Number two, table. Table, teacher. Should I draw this table? No, not this table, okay. Tables mean you have a proper way with a proper criteria. For example, the criteria here, you want to fill the volume of water. Right, volume of water. Now, if you say the volume of water, should you have unit? Yes, what is the unit for volume? I can write down ml, I can write down liter. Okay, that is the unit for volume. Now, what I should write down here? What are the criteria? What are the parameters that I am going to test? For example, I'm going to test the height of the plants. Okay, so D is table. You give criteria for each of the box and then you tabulate your data. That is table. Uh, in the unit one, uh, scientific skill, which is the scientific skill itself and also manipulative skill. Remember, in the scientific skills, we have 12 skills and manipulative skills is all the skills that involve your psychomotor. Remember, science for you to understand, not for you to memorize. Right, let us uh, see it again in our second topic. Bye. Assalamualaikum.